destined to dominate every other legal machine on the road today. For lightweight and compact size, this 998cc engine was developed from last year's V45 by increasing both bore and stroke. And unlike the other V4s, it has removable wet iron cylinder liners. An O-ring at the bottom of the cylinder keeps coolant from leaking into the crankcase, and another O-ring under the liner flange seals the top. The liner is locked in place by a bolt, so the seals won't be disturbed when you remove the cylinder head. And to keep this high output engine cool, there are two radiators, one in front of the engine and another behind the fairing. Now this means you'll have to remove the fairing and lower radiator when the engine needs top end service like a valve adjustment. Remove the radiator cap and drain the coolant from this frame drain plug. Then remove the bottom radiator. A new type of caged ball bearing is used at the top and bottom of the 750 interceptor steering head and on the Nighthawk S. The torque specs have changed from last year, so be sure to check the shop manual for the right numbers. The interceptors all have a revised track system with the adjuster in front of the fork leg. The track works the same as last year, but the flow paths are slightly different. Here's the flow path during normal fork compression. And this is the flow path through the adjustable orifice when braking forces close the control valve. As before, when the wheel hits a large obstacle during braking, the control piston opens and allows oil to bypass the orifice. This year, all three interceptors have needle bearings at the pro-link pivots and they should be lubricated with Honda Mali 45 grease. Next is the Nighthawk S. Under this classic styling is a fast motorcycle pushing fewer pounds per horsepower than any other Honda street bike. The displacement is 696 cc's and the engine is laid out like the 650 Nighthawk. But the very over square bore stroke ratio of 69 by 47.9 millimeters tells us that this is a brand new member of the Nighthawk family. The alternator is behind the block, as on the 650, but it's driven even faster and it's air-cooled. The engine has a semi-dry sump, so it can sit lower in the frame. Crankcase oil capacity is less than the 650s, but the frame tubes and oil cooler more than make up the difference. When you're changing the oil, remove the frame tube drain plug too, or some old oil will stay in the frame. O-rings seal these rubber elbows to the cooler and frame tubes, and the elbows are not interchangeable. When you've got the elbow positioned the right way, everything will align without using force. The Nighthawk S uses a double rotor oil pump. One side circulates oil through the cooler, the other supplies the engine. And the hydraulic valve adjusters get defoamed oil after it passes through this air oil separator. For easy top-end service, these removable frame rails will give you room to strip the engine down to the crankcases without pulling it from the frame. And the camshaft holders have internal oil galleries, replacing some of the oil lines on the 650. But in most other respects, you'll find this engine very much like the 650 Nighthawk. The Nighthawk S is a jewel of a motorcycle. And here's one of a different color the V30 Interceptor. This 500cc V4 was developed from the 400cc version first sold in Japan. And this gem puts out more horsepower for its size than any other Honda Street machine ever. 2.2 horsepower per cubic inch. That's 68 horsepower from this half liter bike. To reach that output, you'd think this machine would be packed with hot new technology. Well, it's hot all right but the technology is shared with the earliest V4s. Cam timing procedures are slightly different and they're described in your student workbook. About the only other thing that's different service-wise is the planetary gear shift mechanism. In this compact design, the gear shift spindle is in line with a shift drum. For disassembly and inspection, see the shop manual. Well, that about wraps up what's new from the service point of view, almost. The CB125S is back from hiding in Brazil. At least, that's where this one is manufactured. There hasn't been too much change from the last CB125. 
But CDI sparks the engine now, and it's triggered off the crankshaft rotor. And there's an accelerator pump on the carb. Aside from these items, the bike is a familiar workhorse. Now, on all California street bikes, there's one more service item. It's an emission control system that has absolutely no effect on performance. A charcoal canister connected to the fuel filler neck. The charcoal traps fuel vapors from the tank while the engine is off. Then the canister cleans itself when the engine is running. So all you have to do is check the hoses whenever the bike's in for service. Multiple cylinder engines get a hose to each intake tract. So each cylinder burns the same mixture. And some models have a purge control valve that seals off control manifold vacuum when the engine is off. No service is required. Well, that wraps up the new service features. But before you go, let's see if you remember some of the information we've covered today. Open your student workbook to the test section. I'll ask you questions. Each time I do, turn off the machine and write your answer in the book. Then turn the machine on for the next question. Okay, let's go. First question. Do the 1984 Goldwing hydraulic valve adjusters require shimming every time the engine is disassembled? Press the stop button now. Second question. In which gear, or gears, does the 1984 Goldwing's vacuum advance operate? Press the stop button now. Third question. What kind of seal is used at the bottom of the 1000 interceptor cylinder liners? Press the stop button now. Last question. Where is oil drained from the cooler and frame tubes on the Nighthawk S? Press the stop button now. Now, check your answers against these. Press the stop button now. So, how did you do? Today, you've seen an evolutionary story. As we grow, Honda's products are continuing to evolve. And we hope you've learned something today. Because like Freddy here, you've got to do your best to stay in front of the pack.